Hello and welcome to the latest Doctor Who video review from Digital Spy. Can you believe it? We're already halfway through series 10. But was Extremist heavenly or did we lose faith? How can I save them when I'm lost in the dark? Now for the most part I have loved this series so far. It stripped Doctor Who back to its essentials, telling simple stories with a fresh energy and confidence. But episode 6 is different. There's a lot going on. Maybe too much. Extremis is dense and it's a big departure from the episodes that came before it. It's an episode chock full of big ideas, any one of which could carry an entire episode. But instead, Extremis leaps from one crazy concept to the next and the end result is a little dizzying. We begin with the Veritas, an ancient text written in a dead language. Read it and you die. It's a bit like that movie The Ring, but in book form. That alone is a great hook for a Doctor Who episode, but instead of keeping things simple, Stephen Moffat throws idea after idea onto the pile. That means that Extremis isn't as strong on character as previous episodes, as the first chapter in a larger story is very much plot driven and that wouldn't be so much of a problem if not for a few things. First of all, while the episode isn't lacking in big ideas, it is a little short on explosive action and eye grabbing visuals. Our villains, the monks, look terrific. Thumbs up again for series 10's high production values but they're used sparingly and the episode's big reveal that most of the events we've seen have taken place in a virtual world left me feeling a little cheated. Practically none of what we saw happen in Extremis actually happened. It's all one big tease for what's going to happen next with the monks set to become a recurring nemesis. And the reveal of a shadow world, it also has to be said, feels a little bit old hat. This idea of a fake doctor who believes he's experiencing events for the first time, but he's actually living them over and over and over again that's pretty much just the plot of Heaven Sent. The other big problem is that Extremis lacks the energy and wit of previous Series 10 episodes. Now, I wasn't the biggest fan of Knock Knock, but that episode still had a lightness of touch, which this moodier episode is missing. I said last week that the Doctor becoming blind was an interesting twist, that it showed a more vulnerable side to a character who often seems indestructible, and I stand by that. But the longer it goes on, the more it saps the fun out of the character and leaves Extremis feeling a little bleak. It's all pretty dark, pretty chaotic, and that's before you even throw the flashbacks in there. Yes, Extremis finally reveals what's in the vault, and spoilers, it's Missy. Okay, not the biggest surprise in the world, but the flashback sequences were the one part of Extremis that I did enjoy unequivocally. Michelle Gomez is not just back, she's delivering her best ever performance in Doctor Who, revealing a Missy who's a little less wild and a little more vulnerable. I can't wait to see more of her in future weeks, and of course, to see her go up against John Sims' master. But that's the thing about Extremis, it's an effective teaser for what's to come, but it doesn't quite work as a standalone episode. Chaotic and melancholic, it's probably one you'd only revisit as part of a series 10 binge. Well, those were my thoughts, but do you disagree? Do you think I must have been watching a totally different episode to you? If so, let us know what you thought of Extremis in the comments below, and give us a thumbs up and subscribe for all your Doctor Who needs. See you next week.